Good morning, Ty and Tony. Right now, they are attending a religious service here at Our Lady of Guadalupe. They were supposed to leave by now, but the caravan is a little bit delayed. They are attending this religious celebration, and then they are waiting for the priest here to bless them before they take off on their trip. And once they get to the border, they are planning to feed children who are there, provide clothing, and plenty of support. The Sacramento caravan includes volunteers from NorCal Resist, the National Lawyers Guild, and a group called Negro Watch Activists. They say families at the border desperately need their support and they're also going to be there to translate for migrants, visit shelters and make sure that everyone there is treated with dignity and respect. Volunteers from Sacramento say all asylum seekers should have access to the border and a quick legal process to determine their eligibility to relocate to the U.S. This morning, those on the Sacramento caravan talk about why we need to stand in solidarity. Not all of America is trying to keep them out, but like that America isn't a, a place of intolerance and hate. This is, you know, the, the land of immigrants. We wanted to go and open our arms and say, you know, you're welcome here, we're ready, and we're going to be also in there, in the country, once you're able to get through, and we're going to continue to support you. And organizers are expecting to leave Sacramento in about 15 to 30 minutes. They say they will likely arrive at the U.S.-Mexico border by 6 o'clock tonight. And they plan to be their assistant migrant families through Sunday. Reporting live here in Sacramento, Leticia Ordaz, KCL Ray 3 News.